But I'm saying that they should limit the number of hours and days they spend mm -hmm. chanting Look, on religion like this. Mm. Oh, my people are doing really well today with these photographs. Sabi, uni, uni, me, kramaya, fear, or damin chensei. What's the difference? Been doing something on past person. You said the Ghanaian youth should stop going to church, should stop listening I, to pastors. I am um, I did not say that they shouldn't go to church, but I'm saying that they should limit the number of hours and days they spend mm -hmm. chanting. You should limit the hours. Yes. So if I do that for five hours a week, is it too long? Yeah, you are dumb. If I do that five hours a week, how many hours should I do that? Five so hours a week. Five hours a week. A week. Five hours. Five hours. Yes, it's fine. So I, I, I five, five hours. So I did. I did. I did a little okay. bit of that last night. Till this morning. Oh, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, it you means the something. The day of Pentecost. Yes. We, we, when we are speaking in tongues, yeah. would your people here even understand what you are saying? No. And the day not. of Pentecost, mm -hmm. when they were speaking in tongues, or mm -hmm. say even some from Arabia, yeah, who hear their language. Yeah, sometimes you can understand. Good. It's, you are using sometimes. Yes. Because and there are two types of tongues. And you know? What type of There's tongue? one that is for the edification of the soul. Uh -huh. That is preached by Apostle Paul. And there's uh -huh. one that is for interpretation. Uh -huh. The one that occurred on the Pentecost day that uh -huh. Peter talked about uh -huh. is the one for interpretation. Because uh -huh. it was prophesied and Prophet Joel uh -huh. had prophesied it earlier. So it was uh -huh. like a public show of something. Uh -huh. So that's the interpretation uh -huh. one. Beyond that, there's one that is for the edification of the soul. Because uh, when you speak the, in tongues, you speak in mysteries. You speak in tongues is mysteries. Mystery ben, tongues now make cano. A mystery ben. Um, uh, Ghanians, say, they are watching the mystery. Are very popular. That's why they mystery call it mystery. Ben. It's mystery. You speak mysteries. It's mystery to you. It, it will be mystery to me, but it will be for the edification of my soul. Good. So tell us your experience with, with, with tongues now. What kind of edification of your soul? Tell Ghanians. <laughs> You know, okay. all I'm so, saying yes, is that religion. my brother, uh -huh. I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that anybody who says there's no God, to me, mm -hmm. to me, is a fool. Yes, correct. Okay? I believe in God. But God has created us as a superior human being over all his creations. That's correct. Okay? So I'll give you the parable of the talent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The parable of the talent. When the rich man was traveling and gave... Talent, Some yeah. talents to... 5, 15, yeah. 10. Right. When he came back, the one who said he was afraid of him and hid the money, yeah. and could he, he took it. Mm -hmm. okay. The second one, he said, oh, I made a profit of this mm -hmm. much. Okay, hold on. Then the third one, so I made a profit, I doubled it. He said, the one who hid his money, he shared it proportionately. To the others. To the others, not equally. Ah, yeah, that's interesting. I never thought about that. Not well, equally. May, proportionately. Yeah, proportionately. Yeah, yeah. Not a, according equal. to how much you made. Precisely. Yeah, that's good. I've never thought about that. Good. It. You can be a preacher, you know that. Now, say, my you can BK, be a preacher. My BK, <laughs> RS, theology. You can be a preacher. Who would you say? Yeah. Who, but have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yeah, why not? When? Now I'm a Christian, man. Now you are baptizing me, baby. No, the, the, the accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. I'm saying, now I'm Pentecost. I'm going to Pentecost in Lagos now. I'm going to go to Apostolic Church with my crew. I'm a Methodist, born and bred into Methodist. Mm. What do you say? So you are in they the say, Christian thing. I like the way Catholics, you know, and you are going to simple preaching and you go Methodist, press before, and yeah. Just say, I'm going to press before two no more. Mm. Not our single. I don't know why all these traditional churches, you know, Ghana for one year and feel the river on baby be on river back river. So what I'm telling the youth is that instead of spending so much time, look on religion like this, on so much me, you see. Oh, my me, people are doing really well today with these photographs. Sebe uni uni me me kama ya. Or mm. don't fear or damn What's mm. the difference? Mm. What's the difference? The picture that you are seeing. So I'm telling the youth to take their destiny into their own hands. When you believe in religion, 
I say religion, not Christianity. Religion, too much. No, you become lazy. Because you become over-dependent on God for everything. Mm -hmm. If God wanted every individual to depend solely on him, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have given us this brace. Mm -hmm. He would have created us just like the birds in the air who don't plant anything, don't sow anything, and they eat every day. Mm -hmm. But God created us as a superhuman being of all his creation. So he gave us brains to use. Mm -hmm. If you are an SDA member, mm -hmm. you choose to go to church on Saturday out of the seven days, I don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. If you go to church on Sunday, I don't have a problem. But where I have a problem is today, a Mercury, today, Queer Wine, Wine, you know. Go to church too frequently. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So who should work for you? Who you have a car fix the country? Mm -hmm. The white men who brought this religion, Christianity, mm -hmm. they are working. The white men, you call them white too, who brought Islam, they are working. Look at Dubai. Mm. Great example. Look at uh, the Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. Go to Turkey. See development. So why are you I always Allah about the Muslim Lash Rahim. Now so that's not true. We don't we don't do that always. You you see churches have done great things. The National Central Gospel Church has a university, the Central University. Yes. The Lighthouse Church has built a lot of things. Yes. The uh, Action Chapel has built a Pentecost Church. Recently donated a prison to the Ghana Prison Super. Service. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that religion is impeding progress in this country. Is it? Look, my brother, go around and see. You go to my village, one my constituency, in some villages. You have all mad houses. The only block building over there is church. Mm -hmm. You see, now the question is, can't you use the same effort also to build a small gary factory? Mm -hmm. You can. You see, collectively, they put up a block building for church. Mm -hmm. You can collectively also put up a small gary factory or soap factory. That is why I'm saying that religion is impeding progress in Africa. Not only Ghana. Not only Ghana, okay. Okay? So, if you put in the same effort to build a church, I don't have a problem if you are doing the same for jobs for you know the youth of that area also to get jobs fantastic you've given an example of a uh, dr Churches. mensa Utabel, build a university the university you have methodist university yes mm -hmm. i don't have a problem but i'm saying that near one in nine no body yum no yes say please yeah, okay, there are fringe right? elements. There are fringe elements. Yeah, yeah. They are destroying. There are good yeah, churches. Yeah, yeah. There are good pastors. Mm -hmm. There are good priests in this country. But the problem with all of them is that they look at these fake ones, destroying them, and they are not saying anything. So you lump everybody together. There are good ones. But you sit there and few fake ones destroying your mission and nobody is saying anything. Did you, did you observe the person of TB Joshua? Did you see it? he died? Yeah. Is it somebody that you liked? Or a fake. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I have said it long time ago, so a fake. Mm, how do you know? Ah, or a fake because who knew? My wife's sister, when she had cancer, brought money. That time she was in America. Brought money for the woman to go to in fact, a doctor actually went to her house to take her to go and do it. The woman said, no, she's going to TV Yeshua. She took the money and went to Lagos. When she was in Lagos, he said she could not even see TV Yeshua, his young, young, young pastors. Then he came back. The sister called. Oh, sister, oh, I'm feeling very good. It's nice. TV Yeshua is good. He said, hey, okay. This woman, breast cancer, it happened again. And she was begging at Kulibu for the doctor to cut the breast. 
Because of the pain? Yes. Yeah, Otitema. She died. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, I ask you a question. What's it TB Yeshua can heal you? Eh? Why is it that he sees what is wrong with everybody and when his building was collapsing, he didn't see? Are you dumb? You are dumb to waste your time. Going to you. Have you seen the confession from one of the ladies that he was sleeping with all of them? Have you, have, you, have you seen it? No, which ladies? Oh, how? You haven't read it. The story of TV Joshua, the confession, the lady has come out. Hmm. Maybe the ladies are not my problem, but I'm saying that. A man's structure collapses. Over 100 people died. So if TB Joshua can say, say today, Kwame Japan, you are going to fall sick tomorrow. And I have to go and see him for prayers. But the same man did not see that his building was going Maybe to God die. didn't show that to him. He nah, can speak of what tell God has shown him. Hmm. Tell that to the dogs. Hmm. Tell that to the dogs. You see? So these are some of the things. Over hmm. here, Obi ni monomu e bo boxing. O kofa, e o gana fwa mo ye dam. Akwe o ti mi kofa passport. E di shen in pabu wa mu se. Wa se mwenye. Mwenye o, you are going to America. Hey, are you stupid? I'm sorry about that. I saw that video. It's, it's very bad. Very embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, all the things that they do, some can be very embarrassing. You know, and let me tell you, these pastors, priests, everybody, when they are sick, they consult a doctor. They go to hospital. Like the Pope. And then, you know, see a Pope who do a surgery. I don't know any of our father. Please, I'm not a Satan, but I'm telling you the gospel truth. Mm. When we are sick, go to hospital first. Before you doctors, pray. Doctors, also they are man of God. If that is what you want to do, I believe that. Yeah, they are also man of God because God has given them this. And it's easy to be a doctor. At That's all. why I admire them. Did I call you? Mejigase oye sabu o sabu taje. You know. So you see a doctor. That God has also given him these brains to diagnose whatever disease you have. Mm -hmm. But after that, you pray to God, I don't have a problem. Mm. But the first option must be the medicine. Yes. You go. Mm. Yeah. And say, oh, yeah. Yes. So, I don't know. That's the problem I have. Not that I don't believe in God. So I'm saying that the young men and women should not be over-reliant on God. Mm. They should take their destiny into their own hands and work hard. Don't also rely on government for everything. Every individual all over the world who relies on government for his survival becomes an underdog in society mm. because the government has a big stake that everybody he has to take care of. So how much can he give you as individual? So you have to work out. Mm. Go out of the norm. Begging. And do something. That is what I'm saying. After that, if you go to church on Sunday or Saturday, I don't have a problem. How long? Two hours? I don't have a problem mm. for two hours. If you dedicate Sunday to worship God, no problem. The whole day? Yes. If you so you can do the hey, Saturday, ba, 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 on Sunday? Yes, if that's what you choose to do. <laughs> But she said the seven days and every problem that we have, we should be able to solve it ourselves. Instead of saying that me, me, my grandmother is a witch, my uncle is a witch, we, you know, those things. And it's all coming from religion. The pastor is telling them. Yeah. And your pastor is in Kwa. Malam Fonsuka. Oh, Malam say your mother is a witch. Mm -hmm. When we talk of religion, we are not talking of only Christianity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? I'm dead by now. Why? Here yeah, because of the things I say. The malams you challenge, the religious people you yes. challenge. Yes. I've been dead. I should have been dead by now. It's not true. What I am doing, probably I'm doing God's work than even those who proclaim to be... I can believe that. I can believe that.